Greetings, fellow time-lapse enthusiasts. This is Jay, aka My Lapse. It's spring here in my world. It's been a while since I've stepped in front of the camera, uh, but I know a lot of you have been waiting for this one, so let's get to it. Today I'd like to introduce you to openmoco.org and uh, give you a short tutorial on using the Time is Motion software that I helped develop. The Time is Motion software will allow you to send scripted commands to the Mead DS head. The Time is Motion software will allow you to get natural looking, gentle starts and stops to your time lapse pans. First and foremost, I'm really excited to announce OpenMoco.org, a site dedicated to open source motion control on a budget. The site's founder, Chris Church, is already releasing software that coordinates time-lapse camera control and motion control via the Arduino and stepper motors. You can also look forward to hardware solutions that will be released on the site. So basically, if you're a programmer and you love time-lapse, OpenMoco is your nirvana. You can take the core code and modify it to your particular need or simply contribute to the OpenMoco project. But if you're code challenged like me, fear not. As time goes by, there'll be plug-and-play systems for the technically challenged like us to play with too. I'll be releasing what I call the Time is Motion software on the OpenMoco site. Although the hardware is different, the goal is the same. Time-lapse motion control on a budget. To clear up any potential confusion, the OpenMoco project is a holistic hardware and software solution that works on a move, shoot, move core program. It coordinates the camera trigger with the motion control and much, much more. The MyLaps head is readily available, easy to use, and relatively inexpensive, so it does have its advantages. Nevertheless, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for a lot more on the OpenMoco project. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's get to the main event. How to use the Time is Motion software with your MyLaps head. By the way, you can still find the MyLaps head at telescopewarehouse.com and you can also find it on eBay. It now comes with the camera bracket and the 497 controller. If you search eBay for MyLaps, you'll find various configurations. First and foremost, you'll need the MyLapse head with the 497 controller, which is the one with the number pad. The rest of the goodies for me fits in this small uh, bag here. Let's uh, get into it and see what we can find. Of course, uh, to start with, you'll need the interval timer. Uh, I've got a Photox TR80, which is a clone. Uh, that works with my Pentax. You'll also need a laptop running Windows OS. Um, I use this very small uh, Asus E, which uh, works perfect for field work. To connect the 497 controller to the laptop, you'll need a serial interface. Um, I don't have a serial connection on my Asus E, so I have to use a uh, USB to serial converter and then a uh, serial cable that goes to a very small phone jack. You'll find more information about this on the Time is Motion project homepage. The rest of this stuff is all power supply, uh, DC power supply stuff uh, and the uh, power supply for the laptop. 
Okay, so first and foremost, you'll need to update the 497 firmware to the custom firmware, which allows the Time is Motion software to communicate with the 497. Uh, no worries, you'll only need to do, need to do this once. Um, first thing you do is uh, run the AutoStar update program. I've included this in the files with the Time is Motion software. You'll notice there's three files. Place the ROM file in the program files mead auto star suite updater ephemerides folder. Once you have the ROM file in the correct folder, basically all you have to do now is attach the uh, USB to your laptop and then attach the serial connection to your 497 controller and then power up the system. Everything's powered up and connected. Uh, run the upgrade AutoStar software now and choose the ROM file that I've supplied in, along with the Time is Motion software. Give it some time and allow it to update and once it's updated we're ready to rock.